Hey everybody, this is Everyday Commentary. This is Sweet Stuff Saturday, actually recorded on a Saturday. And so, uh, as you can see, um, we got a lot of stuff on the bench. Um, we were working on our bikes. There's a piece of a bike over there. My son made this, which I'm not sure what it is, but if I threw it away, he would be very upset. So it's gonna stay on the bench. We have a little project there. It is not a bong, as everybody said on Instagram. Definitely not a bong. We're gonna try something out and we'll see if it works. Uh, woodworking. We are working on a computer lift. So you can slide the keyboard underneath. The monitor will go up here. And there's a little pen tray, so you can just put your pens on there. I have one up in my, my office. This is one for my wife. So that's being worked on. Also, we replaced the door. My dad and I did this. Uh, my dad did a lot of the um, fiddling with the system, but we now have a fully locking door. And by the way, I don't know if I've ever seen this. This is the, uh, the entrance to the workshop from the outside. It actually goes up to the garage. So you can see there's the garage and you can bring wood and lumber right down there and it will this door opens and then my lumber storage is right there so pretty sweet uh i like that setup a lot but let's get here to what we were talking about instead of updating you on workshop projects today i want to talk a little bit about micarta so micarta is one of the older handle materials it was uh, one of bob lovelace's favorite handle materials so when he did his drop point hunters that became synonymous with his name and really sort of defined high-end custom knives in the 1950s and 60s. He used a combination of materials in the handle. He had red felt liners uh, and the red felt liners were tucked between the, the handle of the knife itself and the exterior, which was green micarta. Ever since then, Micarta has had a really important role in knife design, and a lot of people enjoy Micarta in its various forms. And so I wanted to go and talk about the kinds of Micarta, but first I wanna talk about what Micarta is. So Micarta is a resin impregnation or saturation process where you take a substrate and you um, coat it in or impregnate it uh, with resin. And so the various substrates of the micarta result in different feeling handles. Uh, and so I wanted to, I have, I have three different kinds of micarta here, and I'm going to show you each one of them and talk about the pluses and minuses. So the first knife is in green, uh, green canvas micarta. Uh, this is the one that is most commonly used on knives. Uh, and it is the one that was used on those original Loveless Drop Point Hunters in their sort of iconic setup with out using stag. And so what you have here is you have a very, very rough texture, not rough, it's not like, uh, you know, like Cold Steel G10, but it's a very noticeable structure. You can hear it. It kind of has like a zipping kind of feel to it. But the canvas is a fabric uh, with very large threads and large weaves. And so when the resin is introduced, it locks the, the, the fabric in place, but it also um, you know, creates rougher texture based on the um, coarseness of the underlying substrate. And so Canvas micarta is generally the roughest of the micartas, and we'll talk a little bit about why I like it and why I don't like it. Next up in terms of uh, texture is this. This is um, red linen micarta. So the weave on the substrate is less prominent. And as a result, this feels smoother than this. Um, this is uh, the giant mouse ace riv this is the always hard to find uh north wood knives indian river jack this is a 2020 edition it's in um uh one uh 1095 
And this is the maroon linen micarta version. I love this knife. This is one of my favorite knives ever made. Uh, and it feels great in the hand. There's still a little bit of texture. I mean, you can see there, it's not slipping through the fingers all that well, uh, but it is much smoother than this. And then finally, this is a new knife. This is the um, uh, Monterey Bay Knives mini old guard and this is paper micarta so i'm imagining that they use some kind of craft paper or some drawing paper and then they impregnate it with resin and then all of them are impregnated resin and then compressed so they're put under enormous amounts of pressure and then they're dried in that manner so let's talk about what each of these does and why i like them and why i don't like them so this micarta as you can imagine offers the best grip because there's something to hold on to with the bulky weave of the canvas. Once it's impregnated with resin, it still gives you quite a bit of grip. And so if you're doing tasks such as uh, you were scanning or caping an animal, like with the original Drop Point Hunter, this would still provide you with quite a bit of texture, even when it's slippery and wet. Uh, one thing that I will note is, as you can see, this darkens over time, and there are a couple of things you could do. You could just let it darken over time, or you can try to clean it, but because it's so textured and porous, micarta does not clean as well as G10. The other option that you could do is you could oil seal it. And so what an oil seal is, is you just basically take like mineral oil and you coat it, and it'll change it from like sort of that uh, real... Uh, almost chalky feel uh, when you get the original micarta and it will give it some kind of darkening and it will smooth it out a little bit. I, I've done this on my um, custom handles for the dragonfly. So they came and they were like that real whitish chalky color that you get with natural micarta. I put the oil seal on and they have not aged or darkened at all. Unlike this knife, which I did not do that with. Um, Another thing that you can do, and some knives like Bark River knives do this a lot, is they will polish the micarta and it gets darker and smoother when you do that, but it still retains quite a bit of grip. That is basically getting what you get with something like this or this, but using elbow grease to get there. Uh, overall, I like this micarta. I would probably always oil the micarta if I had a choice, um, but, uh, you know... It's okay to let it get a natural patina because like that's what this is and it looks great and it works really nice. One thing that I will tell you though is that if you're like extra sweaty or you get it wet, it will tend to discolor and that discoloration will go away over time. But you can see that there are places where there's it's darker like right there and lighter right there. I don't really touch this part as much. This part like sits right in the fat of your hand. So as you can see, like that part is not getting touched. There's really no way to hold this knife and not touch this part. So uh, if that natural variation bothers you, you should oil it or you should look at a polished uh, canvas micarta or you should look at one of these other micartas. So the linen micarta is sort of like the uh, Goldilocks micarta because it has a little bit more texture than the paper, but not so much as the canvas. And it will not pick up the same amount of uh, coloration. It's pretty uniform and it doesn't change from what you get. In the box, um, I don't know why they don't do more linen micarta. Maybe it's more expensive. I don't know, but I really like the way this looks. It's kind of shiny, but not, you know, like this is pretty matte. This is pretty shiny. Uh, it's a great material. And finally, I would say that my favorite micarta is this paper micarta. This is yellow paper micarta. And it is still okay. I mean, you can hear, there's a little bit of texture. But man, does it look fantastic. This might be my favorite handle material ever. I love this handle material. You can see it's real matte finish there. Um, this is a great handle material. And uh, once I finished tweaking the mini old guard and fixing a lot of the problems, like none of the screws were tightened and I had to tune the pivot a couple times and the detent is a little weird and you know the lockup is kind of strange. Once I fixed all those problems, this knife is really, really nice. So. It was probably the best knife kit I've ever bought, not the best finished knife I've ever bought. But the handle scales here are absolutely drop dead gorgeous. They have enough texture to really make a difference and they don't change color like the canvas micarta does. So 
That's a quick overview of my Carta uh, for a Sweet Stuff Saturday, and I will catch you later. Also, before I go, uh, working my way through a bunch of different knives in the Is It Better Than a Sabenza series, and it's been really fun to film them, so go watch them. Thanks.